John XI Bekos was Patriarch of Constantinople from June 2, 1275 to December 26, 1282, and the chief Greek advocate, in Byzantine times, of the reunion of the Eastern Orthodox and Roman Catholic Churches. Life John Bekos was born in Nicaea among the exiles from Constantinople during the period of Latin occupation of that city, and died in prison in the fortress of St. Gregory near the entrance to the Gulf of Nicomedia. Our knowledge of Bekos's life is derived from his own writings, from writings of Byzantine historians such as George Paki Mears and Nicephorus Gregoras, from writings against him by Gregory of Cyprus and others and from defences of him by supporters of ecclesiastical union like Constantine Melite Niotes and George Metakites. Bekos's history is closely bound up with the fortunes of the Union of the Churches declared at the Second Council of Leon, a union promoted by Pope Gregory X in the Western Emperor Michael VIII Paleologus in the East. The Union policy of Michael VIII was largely politically motivated, and Bekos at first opposed it, but, after Michael VIII had had him imprisoned in the Tower of Anemas for speaking out against it, Bekos changed his mind. A reading of such Greek church fathers as Saint Basil the Great, Saint Cyril of Alexandria and Saint Epiphanius convinced Bekos that theological differences between the Greek and Latin churches had been exaggerated. After Patriarch Joseph I Galegetus abdicated early in 1275 due to his opposition to the Council of Leon, Bekos was elected to replace him. His relationship with the emperor was sometimes stormy, although Michael VIII depended on Bekos for maintaining his empire's peace with the West. He was annoyed by Bekos's repeated intercessions on behalf of the poor. Michael was a crafty man, and knew how to make the patriarch's life miserable by sundry small humiliations, until, in March 1279, Bekos quit in disgust, and had to be coaxed back to undertake the job again. The final years of Michael VIII's reign were entirely taken up with defending his empire against the threat posed by the Western King Charles of Anjou, and, in his anxiety to meet this threat, Michael enforced a reign of terror against opponents of union, but there is no convincing evidence that John Bekos ever actively took part in or supported acts of violent persecution. Although earlier in his patriarchate Bekos had promised not to reply to the pamphlets that were being circulated against the ecclesiastical union, by the latter years of Michael's reign he had changed his mind about this, and began holding numerous synods, calling all and sundry, and dug up books and published many others, defending the Union on theological grounds, arguing the compatibility of the Latin doctrine with Greek patristic tradition. The effect of this was further to alienate most of the Greek clergy against him. It was this publishing activity that later served as the explicit grounds for the charges that were laid against him. The ecclesial union engineered by Michael VIII was never popular in Byzantium, and, after his death, his son and successor, Andronicus II, repudiated it. On the day after Christmas 1282, John Bekos withdrew to a monastery. The former patriarch, Joseph I, was brought into the city on a stretcher, and a series of councils and public meetings ensued, led by a group of anti-unionist monks. Bekos, in fear of violent death at the hands of a mob, was induced to sign a formal renunciation of his unionist opinions and of his priesthood, a renunciation which he afterwards disowned as extorted under duress but which was used against him. After this, Bekos spent some years under house arrest at a large monastery in Prusa in Asia Minor. From there, he began a literary campaign to exonerate himself and succeeded in having a council called to re-examine his case. It took place at the Imperial Palace of Blasherny in Constantinople, meeting in several sessions from February to August in the year 1285. Although the Council of Blasherny reaffirmed Bekos's earlier condemnation in the council's aftermath Bekos, by a series of writings, 
succeeded in bringing its dogmatic statement against him into such disrepute that its principal author, the patriarch Gregory II, resigned. Bekos saw this as vindicating his position. He spent the remaining years of his life in prison in the fortress of St. Gregory, revising his writings, maintaining friendly relations with the emperor and prominent Byzantine churchmen. But unwilling to give up his unionist opinions, he died in 1297. Thought. The basis of John Bekos's quarrel with his contemporaries was a disagreement with them over the implications of a traditional patristic formula that states that the Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father through the Son. Already in the 9th century, this expression was being pushed in two different directions. Latin writers saw it as implying the Augustinian doctrine that the Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father and the Son. Greek writers especially from the time of Patriarch Photios onward, saw it as consistent with the view that the Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father alone. Bekos originally agreed with the Phocian view, but his reading of the Greek Fathers, and of medieval Greek writers like Nicephorus Blemides and Nicetas of Meronea, caused him to change his mind. Much of John XI Bekos's debate with Gregory II was a debate over the meaning of texts from St. Cyril and other fathers, whose wording Bekos saw as consistent with the Latin doctrine. While Gregory of Cyprus interpreted such texts as necessarily referring to an eternal manifestation of the Holy Spirit through or from the Son, this 13th-century debate has considerable relevance for current-day ecumenical discussions between the Orthodox Church and the Roman Catholic Church. Editions Most of Bekos's writings are found in Volume 141 of J.P. Min's Petrologia Graeca, although some still remain unedited. Min reprints the 17th-century editions of Leo Alatius. A more reliable re-edition was produced by H. Lemmer in the 19th century, but even this edition lacks references for Bekos's many patristic citations. Only a few short writings of Bekos's have received modern, critical editions. One of them is his work De Pace Ecclesiastica, found in V. Laurent and J. Darouza's Dossier Grec de l'Union de Lyon, 1273-1277, in it. Bekos criticizes the foundations of the schism between the churches on historical grounds alone, pointing out that the patriarch Photios only chose to launch a campaign against the Latin doctrine after his claim to be rightful patriarch of Constantinople was rejected by Pope Nicholas I. Some of Bekos's most important works are as follows. On the Union and Peace of the Churches of Old and New Rome this work summarizes Bekos's main patristic arguments and rebuts the arguments of four Byzantine critics of Latin Christian theology. Epigraphs, an anthology of patristic texts arranged under 13 chapter headings, presenting a connected argument for the compatibility of the Greek and Latin doctrines of the procession of the Holy Spirit 160 years later. It was instrumental in convincing Bessarion, at the Council of Florence, that the Latin doctrine was orthodox. Oration Zion II on his own deposition, Bekos's own account of events during the tumultuous synods of early 1283. De Libris Sui, a short work, but essential for the critical history of Bekos's texts. In it, Bekos discusses the principles which governed his revision of his own works in an edition he wrote out by hand while he was in prison. Refutation of the Tome of George of Cyprus and Four Books to Constantine Melite Niotes. Bekos's critique of his antagonist Gregory II. Studies. Little has been written on John XI Bekos in English. Jill, Joseph, John Bekos, Patriarch of Constantinople, 1275-1282, Byzantina 7, 251-266, Idem, Byzantium and the Papacy, 1198-1400, Barbara Hartmann. John XI of Constantinople, in Bouts, Friedrich Wilhelm, Biographisch Bibliographisches Kirchelexikon 3, Hertzberg, Bouts, Kohls, 
281-284. ISBN 3-88309-0352. Papadakis, Aristides. Crisis in Byzantium. The Filio Controversy in the Patriarchate of Gregory II of Cyprus. Second ed. More has been written on Bekos in other languages. Highly to be recommended is a new book in German. Reeb, Alexandra. Roman Gemeinschaft mit Konstantinopel. Patriarch Johannes XI. Bekos als Verterediger der Kirchenunion von Leon.